Hi there. So it is day five here at COP26 and that is Youth Day. And what have we heard today? Well, we've heard one big emotion and that emotion is anger. Anger on behalf of the young population of the world with regards to the state of their planets and the fact that they are incredibly worried about the future. But of course, it's not just the younger population. They are the voice that is shouting very, very loudly at the moment and quite rightly so. So we're hearing a lot of that resonate throughout the entirety of the conference here today, but also we're seeing the continued negotiations, the continued drafting of all of the different agreements between all of those nations progress forwards. We are about halfway through the conference at the moment. This is perhaps the pain point where we can see if some, company, some countries are going to stay or go on various different negotiations and whether we truly are going to be able to reach that 1.5 degree target that everybody's been talking about. Now this week we've seen some really big pledges being made including 130 trillion dollars from the private market, the potential for 100 billion dollars coming in from different governments around the world, the end to deforestation, significant reductions with regards to the use of coal in terms of the electricity generation and big reduction targets with regards to the emissions of say methane and other greenhouse gases. So a lot has been achieved this week. Is it enough for COP26 as a whole? Not quite yet. Do the young population of the world need to carry on shouting? Most definitely, yes. As do the rest of us. The rest of us, no matter who we are, need to carry on leaning into this particular problem that we have in front of us right now, constantly searching for solutions, many of which come from the world of geosciences. So with that, a massive thank you to the Geological Society for making sure that we have a seat at this immense table and at this immense discussion. It is truly, truly fascinating and also a very exciting time to be a geoscientist. Thank you very much.